A leak a day keeps the hype not that far away. E.N.D. here. We haven't even started to fully enjoy Dustmon with the release just happening this past weekend when leaks, though not yet fully confirmed, have surfaced about one of the most anticipated crossovers, Marvel. While we cannot say for certain if these leaks are genuine, they appear credible to me, it also feels like an intentional move to generate early craziness, potentially paving the way for Wizards of the Coast to ramp up the hype. Either way, let's start. And I want to start with my favorite, Wolverine Best There Is, for 1-1 one, one red and 1 green, 2-2, two, two, unrivaled lethality, double all damage Wolverine would deal. At the beginning of each end step, if Wolverine dealt damage to another creature this turn, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, for 1 and 1 green, regenerate Wolverine. Iron Man Titan of Innovation, 3, 1 blue and 1 red, 4, 4 with flying and haste. Genius Industries, whenever it attacks, create a treasure token, then you may sacrifice a non-creature artifact. If you do, search your library for an artifact card with mana value equal to 1 plus the sacrificed artifact mana value. Put it onto the battlefield tab, then shuffle. Ideal to tutor that soaring. Black Panther Wakandan King for 1 green and 1 white, 2-2 two, two, with first strike, surveil the realm whenever it or another creature you control and there's the battlefield, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target land you control. Mine Vibranium, 3 generic mana, move all plus 1 plus 1 counters from target land you control onto target creature. If one or more plus 1 plus 1 counters are moved this way, you gain that much life and draw a card. Captain America First Avenger, 1 red, 1 white and 1 blue, 4-4 four, four, with throw, 3 generic mana, unattach an equipment from it, hit these damage equal to the equipment's mana value, divide it as you choose among 1, 2 or 3 targets. Catch, add the beam of combat on your turn, attach up to 1 target equipment you control to Captain America. Last but not least, Teferi's Protection, one of the most played cards in Commander. So these are all the lead cards related to Marvel, leave me a comment below, what do you think about this crossover? And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting features about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.